क्वेश्चन नंबर 121 व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ट्रेट्स ऑफ पी प्लांट इज एक्सप्रेस्ड ओनली इन होमोजाइगस कंडीशन ओनली इन होमोजाइगस कंडीशन दोस ट्रेट्स व्हिच आर रिसेसिव एक्सप्रेस ओनली इन होमोजाइगस कंडीशन दैट इज presence of terminal flowers so the correct option for the given question is option number 1 let's move to the next question question number 122 a female who has a no prior history of thalassemia in her family marries a thalassemic man if their son marries a carrier woman then what will be the probability of grandson to be affected with thalassemia thalassemia it's a autosomal recessive disorder now female has a no prior history of thalassemia so she is absolutely normal and she marries a man who is thalassemic means it is homozygous for the disorder these are the parents now in f1 generation they get their children and all the children are carrier for the this order be their son or daughters now if it is a son and it marries a carrier women then what is the probability of their grandson to be affected with the same disorder we will get here capital a capital a capital a small a capital a small a small a small a these are the maximum probabilities of their children genotype and out of this only one can be affected with thalassemia one is normal and these two can be carrier for the disorder so the probability is 1 by 4 so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question question number 123 how many of the following statement or statements is are correct A in domesticated fowls sex of progeny depends upon the type of sperm rather than type of egg this statement is false why because in domesticated fowls the females are heterogametic females they produce two type of eggs hence the sex of the children or the progeny is decided by the females not by the males or you can say by the eggs not by the sperms b hemophilia it's a sex linked recessive disorder true multiple alleles are present at the same locus of the homologous chromosomes it is also true d in co dominance if one generation resembles both the parents it is also true in co dominance the f1 generation has resemblance with both the parents so how many of them are correct Three. So the correct option for the given question is option number two. Let's move to the next question. Question number one hundred and twenty-four. Different molecular forms of a gene are called. It's a memory-based question. These are called alleles. So the correct option for the given question is option number four. Let's move to the next question. Question number one hundred and twenty-five. Select the incorrect statement regarding test cross. First option, it is used to determine the genotype of a plant showing dominant trait. Correct. This cross can help in predicting the linkage between two traits. It is also correct because the ratio differs. If the test cross ratio for dihybrid cross according to Mendelism is one is two, one is two, one is two, one. then the test cross ratio for the linked genes will be 1 is to 1 and it shows the linkage so test cross can help in predicting the linkage between two traits third one this cross determines the ability of two species to undergo successful interbreeding not at all how a test cross can tell you the ability of two species to undergo interbreeding successfully fourth one it produces equal number of genotypes and phenotypes in a progeny yes and that's why the ratio is equal so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question mm -hmm.